Greetings to all uh, in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And today morning, I would like to stimulate you because the world is in the very bad situation. As we all know, we are going through a lot of struggles and the pandemic time. And during this pandemic time, many of us, we are really discouraged. We are afraid of our lives. And uh, we don't have any hope. But this is a time that we have to use the weapon. You know, the Bible says the word of God is the weapon. And today morning, I would like to bring uh, God's word to you. It's like few minutes, but just I want to encourage, stimulate you. And if you have a Bible, please turn with me, book of Isaiah, chapter 44 and verse 2. I will read for you. This is what the Lord says. You who made you, who formed you in the womb, and who will help you. Do not be afraid, O Jacob, my servant, Jeshurun, whom I have chosen. And here the Bible says very clearly that we, uh, we were formed by God, you know, in the womb of our mother. It is not that accident we are in this earth, but it is the plan and purpose of God that we are on this earth. And we have to know that God called with a purpose and we are alive today. You know, many people, they are dying. Every day they are dying. We are getting very bad news. And when we switch on the TV, we get only bad news. But the Bible says, do not be afraid, O Jacob, my servant, who I have chosen. And today, we have a hope in Jesus Christ. And we have to believe and we have to trust God that Jesus is with us. You know, we are going through a lot of tough time. Not only we, the world is going in, the, in this pandemic situation. And we should not forget that Lord is with us. And we have to remember the God promises in our life. If God has promised you, He is going to fulfill in your life. And do not worry about your life. You know, do not be afraid. The Bible says, do not be afraid, O Jacob. I am with you. Because we have an assurance that God has called us. And we have an assurance that God has created us in the womb of our mother. And that is his responsibility to take care of our lives. And today morning, I want to encourage you. I want to uh, stimulate you that do not be afraid. My friends, of course, the world is going through a lot of tough situations. You know, people are dying. But I, I want to tell you that if, if God has called us with a purpose, though a though, uh, lot of uh, pandemic or whatever the situation, let situation become worst. But if God has called us with a purpose, you will be alive until unless the purpose that you are to fulfill. And today morning, just I want to encourage you. You know, the Bible says you are formed by God. You are, you have seen by Lord Almighty in the womb of your mother. And, and his responsibility to take care of your lives. And just I want to thank you for watching this video. God bless you, my people. Do not be afraid. The devil uses strong weapon is afraid. He makes you afraid. That is his weapon. And you have to use, you have to utilize the God's word. Now, this is a time to use the God's word. You know, you have to use the God's word. You have to claim all the promises which has written in the Bible. And it helps you to overcome all the situations and when you are afraid when you are going down day by day when you have seen this world you know every family they are suffering you know there is no food there is no salary there is no you know good uh, health but being a christians or being a god's people we must know that we have a god we have God who loves us. We have God who take care of us. 
you know we have a god who protect us you know our god is not a mud our god is not a tree you know he is alive jesus is alive my friends and i want to encourage you now do not be discouraged and do not be afraid you know every day claim the word of god let the word of god burn in your life you know read the word and it will encourage you jesus himself the word when you read the word jesus will talk with you and you will know the purpose and you know that god, why god has called you on this earth and i challenge you until unless you fulfill the purpose of god you will not die though uh, uh, though may many you know though may many disease may come it may be corona black fungus white fungus or other fungus and don't worry about that don't worry about any fungus of course take a precaution what the government says yeah wear a mask you sanitize what the government says you do it even i am doing we are we, we have to do precautions but the ultimate is god ultimate is god because many people they are who, uh, you know many people they are dying without hope but we have hope that jesus christ and to the morning i believe that jesus is with us and he will take care of our lives god bless you my friends love you all take care amen